Welcome back to Crunch. Today, we are exploring 10 Egyptian discoveries that have archaeologists in disbelief. Number 10. The Theban Mapping Project The Theban Mapping Project, which we will refer to as the TMP, was founded in 1978 by Kent R. Weeks, an Egyptologist at the University of Chicago. The project has been mapping the Theban necropolis using a variety of techniques, including aerial photography, ground surveys, and 3D modeling. The TMP has made significant progress in mapping the Theban necropolis. They have mapped over 700 tombs and temples, and they have created a detailed database of the site. The project has also made a number of important archaeological discoveries, including the tomb of Hatshepsut and the tomb of Tutankhamun. The TMP is a valuable resource for archaeologists and historians. The project's maps and databases provide a wealth of information about the Theban necropolis, and they help us to understand the history and culture of ancient Egypt. The TMP is continuing to map the Theban necropolis. They hope to eventually map the entire site, and they hope to continue to make important archaeological discoveries. Number 9. Cleopatra's Tomb The tomb of Cleopatra in Egypt has never been found. Her tomb is one of the most sought-after archaeological finds in the world, but it has eluded archaeologists for centuries. There are a few theories about where Cleopatra's tomb might be located, but none of these theories have been confirmed. One theory is that Cleopatra's tomb is located in the Valley of the Kings, where many other pharaohs were buried. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this theory. Another theory is that Cleopatra's tomb is located in Alexandria, where she lived and ruled. However, there have been no major archaeological excavations in Alexandria in recent years, so it is unlikely that her tomb will be found there anytime soon. Some have suggested that Cleopatra may have been buried at sea, as this was a common practice for Egyptian royalty. Some say she was buried in a mausoleum on the edge of the Mediterranean Sea near Alexandria. It is hypothesized the mausoleum was destroyed by earthquakes and other natural disasters over the centuries, so it is unlikely that it will ever be found. In 2018, a team of archaeologists announced that they had found a tomb in Alexandria that they believe may be Cleopatra's. However, further investigation has cast doubt on this claim, and the tomb's identity remains uncertain. Number 8. The Valley of the Golden Mummies the Valley of the Golden Mummies is a necropolis that was discovered in Egypt in 2011. The Valley of the Golden Mummies is home to the mummified remains of many high-ranking officials from the Ptolemaic period. The Valley of the Golden Mummies is one of the most recent and exciting archaeological discoveries in Egypt. Number 7. The Abu Simbel Temples the Abu Simbel temples are a pair of temples that were built by the pharaoh Ramses II in Egypt. The Abu Simbel temples are dedicated to the gods of Egypt, and they are one of the most impressive examples of ancient Egyptian architecture. Number 6. The Abydos Mummy Mask The Abydos Mummy Mask is a funerary mask made of cartonnage and gilded plaster that was discovered in 1907 in the tomb of Second Enri Tau II in Abydos, Egypt. The mask is one of the most important examples of Egyptian funerary art from the Middle Kingdom period. The mask is made of cartonnage, which is a material made from layers of linen that have been soaked in plaster. The mask is then gilded, which means that it has been covered in a thin layer of gold leaf. The mask is decorated with a stylized face that has almond-shaped eyes, a thin nose, and a full mouth. The mask also has a false beard, which is a symbol of kingship in ancient Egypt. The Abydos mummy mask is significant for a number of reasons. First, it is one of the earliest examples of a gilded funerary mask from Egypt. Second, the mask is well preserved, which allows us to see the details of the craftsmanship. Third, the mask is associated with Second Enri Tau II, who was a powerful pharaoh who played a significant role in the history of Egypt. The Abydos mummy mask is currently on display in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. It is one of the most popular exhibits in the museum, and it is a reminder of the rich and complex history of ancient Egypt. Number 5. Egypt Autopsy Drives New Clues 3600 Years After Pharaoh's Murder A team of Egyptian archaeologists and scientists have conducted a new autopsy on the mummy of Second Enri Tau II, a pharaoh who ruled Egypt over 3600 years ago. The autopsy, which was performed using modern medical techniques, revealed new insights into Second Enri's life and death. One of the most significant findings was that Second Enri suffered a number of head injuries before his death. These injuries, which included a fractured skull and a broken nose, were likely caused by a violent attack. The scientists believe that Second Enri may have been killed in battle or that he may have been assassinated. 
The autopsy also revealed that Second N. Ray was a relatively young man when he died. He was estimated to be in his early 40s, which is younger than the average age of death for pharaohs. This suggests that Second N. Ray may have died prematurely, perhaps as a result of his injuries. The new findings from the autopsy provide valuable insights into the life and death of Second N. Ray Tal II. They also shed light on the violence and political instability that characterized Egypt during the 17th dynasty, the period in which Second N. Ray ruled. The autopsy was conducted by a team of Egyptian and international scientists, including Dr. Sahar Salim, a professor of radiology at Cairo University. The scientists used a variety of techniques, including CT scans, MRI scans, and X-rays to examine Second and Ray's mummy. The findings from the autopsy were published in the journal Frontiers in Medicine. The article, which was titled New Insights into the Life and Death of Second and Ray Tal II, is available to read online. Number 4. The Mummy of Alexander the Great The mummy of Alexander the Great has never been found. However, there are several theories about where the mummy might be located. Some believe that the mummy is buried in Egypt, while others believe that it is buried in Greece. The search for the mummy of Alexander the Great is one of the most elusive quests in history. Number 3. The Tanis Treasure The Tanis Treasure is a collection of gold and silver artifacts that were discovered in the city of Tanis, Egypt. The Tanis Treasure is believed to have been buried in the 21st dynasty of Egypt, which ruled from 1070 to 945 BC. Some of the priceless artifacts include the Gold Mask of Susenes I. This mask is made of solid gold, and it is decorated with intricate details. The mask is believed to have been worn by Susenes I during his funeral. The Silver Coffin of Shoshank II this coffin is made of solid silver, and it is decorated with images of Shoshank II, a pharaoh who ruled during the 22nd dynasty. The Golden Bracelets of Amenemope The bracelets are made of solid gold, and they are decorated with images of Amenemope, a high-ranking official who served during the 21st dynasty. The Ivory Furniture This furniture is made of ivory, and it is decorated with images of animals and plants. The furniture is believed to have been used by the royal family during the 21st dynasty. Number 2 Mummies and Artifacts in Luxor In 2018, a team of Egyptian archaeologists made a daring expedition deep into the heart of the Theban necropolis in the Valley of the Kings located at Luxor, Egypt. They found a cache of mummies and artifacts that had been sealed for centuries. The cache included the mummies of 13 people as well as a variety of jewelry, pottery, and weapons. The mummies are believed to date back to the 18th dynasty of Egypt, which ruled from 1550 to 1295 BC. The discovery of the cache was a major archaeological find. It provides new insights into the lives of people who lived in Egypt during the 18th dynasty. The cache is also a valuable source of information about the funerary practices of the time. The mummies in the cache were well preserved, and they were still wearing their burial clothes. The jewelry found in the cache included necklaces, earrings, and bracelets. The pottery included bowls, jars, and vases. The weapons included swords, daggers, and bows and arrows. The archaeologists who discovered the cache believed that it may have belonged to a high-ranking official or a member of the royal family. Number 1. New Archaeological Site in the Western Desert The site was discovered by a team of Egyptian archaeologists. It is located in the Karga Oasis, and it is believed to be a settlement that was inhabited during the Roman period, which lasted from 30 BC to AD 476. The site includes a number of buildings as well as a cemetery. The cemetery contains the remains of over 100 people, and it includes both mummies and unmummified bodies. The Eerie site was discovered in 2022 by a team of Egyptian archaeologists, including Dr. Abdel Rahman Fami. These are just a few examples of Egyptian discoveries that have archaeologists in disbelief. If you love history or archaeology, let us know what we should dive into next. Thank you for watching Crunch, and don't forget to hit that like button for more fun history.